Is there I, just, a reason? I usually play like the first hour or two of my stream on Europe and then I'll go to uh, America's after that. Okay. Just because like, um, I think that Europe is going to die down right, like right around now. But yeah, like it's more, it's more active usually like three hours ago, two, three hours ago than now. True. Yeah, the shift usually happens. Uh, I actually don't know where you're from, but my time it would be around like six to eight p.m. I'm in Illinois, in the in the U.S. So. Okay, so I think you're an hour behind me. CST. Is it? Uh, yeah, I'm EST. So you're the same then. You're EST. I'm CST. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're an hour behind me. I'm EST. Yeah. So it's, yeah, 8 o'clock, 8.30 for you almost, so, yeah, I mean, it, a couple hours ago, we probably could have still got some good action on Europe, but usually I'm playing with people from the stream, so it shouldn't be, it usually can get a game regardless, but it is always nice to have new players. Sick of playing with you guys all the time. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so um, any questions in this one before we get going again? Uh, I guess just keep giving me tips um, for which for your race I'm and starting. stuff. Starting, yeah. Okay. Since I don't really know anything about it. All right, so now you're Void Elf, which is the one that Uyar was last game. I'm the Panda Bears, Pandaren. Void Elf, their uh, bonus, the first row, second um, one from the left, is going to be really good. They're called Mage Huntresses, and they do like a cleaving um, damage to the enemies, so that might be something you want. Um, but I would just like read the different bonuses and see if there's anything you want or you want to try. I'm purple this round. Man, I really want to... I'm not going to pick an overpowered bonus. Huntresses? Mage Huntresses. Should be the first row, second one over. I think... What, what color do you think I am? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Should be Void Elf, right? I'm purple. <laughs> so I'm... Oh, so I'm my bad. You're rogue. Rogue. Okay, right. um... Axe throwers, those are really good for you. I think that's the third over on the top. That's the trickster. Uh, what about second? Uh, Blood, uh, Blood Hill I'm Bandits. I'm just gonna random, random. Blood Hill Bandits. Uh, All right. it's, what did you get? Did you random? Yeah, it randomed uh, ambush tactics. Good, that's good too. So now all your units are gonna be camouflaged and they'll have spell resistance. Uh, Gray on Cross Farming says that he thinks your uh, your voice is quite appealing. Upgrade. Is he that what he said? That. He did, he said I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good friend of mine, his name's well, his his username on Battle.net, if you ever come across him, is Bebop Booger. He plays this yeah. game a lot. Tell him I said thanks. Just thank you. Do you uh, are you a Cowboy Bebop fan, or you just enjoy Bebop in general? The term. Cowboy Bebop. I'm I like Cowboy Bebop, but what is where's that coming from? Oh, well, are you talking to him? Yeah, you said his, his free name was Bebop, so I was wondering if that, that had anything it's, to do with it. So it's actually not even with B-E... It's it's B-B-O-P. He doesn't actually have the B-E-B-O-B... B-E-B-O-P. So it's 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 kind of... I can see how that's confusing. But okay. it's, not a, it's not a reference to Cowboy Bebop, though. At least I don't <laughs> think. Is it Bebop? <laughs> I don't Thanks think it is. Oh, Quirky Turtle. Hey, there you go, Quirky. Yeah, guys, if you haven't already, go follow Shadow Huntress. 
Yes, and same for uh, for everybody over in my chat. Go follow Kleeg. Thank you, thank you. Seems like you. a pretty chill individual. Uh, gotta support your fellow uh, Warcraft enthusiasts. Absolutely. <sighs> Man, okay. Alright, so Rogue are... Uh, I should be explaining this to you. Um, they specialize in attack. You'll be able to get four attack upgrades right away with them instead of three. You know, like three is the norm. Okay. That's like the baseline and then... Oh, Uyar, you chump, man. You're gonna lose your racks already? Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so that's uh, that's like good and bad. Now I need to adjust my strategy. Like if somebody dies um, that fast against you, like I said, now I'm gonna be starved for gold on my lane against him. So I'm like happy that happened to him, but also sad. Cause he just beat me last game. It's all right, man. Sumo wrestlers. Okay. Um. What else to tell you about Rogue? So yeah, getting quick quick amounts of attack with them is good. Um. I see you got defense, but that's fine. I was just getting one. Just in case. Yeah, yeah. And you can play however you're you think is the right way to go too. Because I'm wrong about a lot of things. Well, I feel like I have to trust you on your uh, primary map, you know? <laughs> the uh, rogue, what else can they do for you? They, they have one of the best super units. So that's another reason why you're going to want to get to late game. So just make sure you're all good on, on your side lanes and your mid. Mid, also, something to keep in mind about mid is like what I did. I went tier three there and you can see that. Like if you go and look in there to just kind of like scope it out, you see my little dragons. I don't know if you can see him right now because he's in another lane pushing up there, but might be in sight now for you. Um, You don't have to go tier two mid because I'm never gonna push you. And I'm just, I'm trying to farm mid instead of that bottom lane now. So, like, I'm trying to get as much from mid as I can. You don't have to give me gold, though. If you go tier 2 mid, then you're just sending units to die. Why are tier 3 units siege on uh, Panda? Just because that's how they, that's just how they are. All right, I'm trying to think of like- Thank you so much for the sub and frenzy. Let me think here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna press you. Just kind of like do, just kind of try some stuff out and um, see where you're at and just ask questions as we go along. Rogue have uh, their super units. The ele is the elevator, and man, wait until you see it. It's crazy. That's another like cool thing about Survival Chaos is the different like uh, heroes and super units that they have, and the different things that they can do. You know why I confused you guys? Because you're both you both have shadow on your name. Yeah, shadow. So shadow, shadow and shadow hunter in this game. Oh, 
Um, uh, maybe Uyar. That would. I don't know. I tell you more. Then I kill you. I don't know what's gonna happen mid now. You're gonna be painful to me right now. Me? Mm hmm. Hey, you seem to be pushed up on you, yeah. This is gonna hurt a bit. I went heavy and do attack, as you suggested. Yup, that's what you gotta do. There's... Like, Rogue will be able to get to 12 attack at the end of the game, so... Use that to your advantage. Uh, thanks for the follow, Lord Vader. See, now he's gonna do what you did last game. Oh wow, thank you so much for the sub, Vader. guy just farm mid on me i went tier four on a middle and he sent a hero out to try and soak up like more gold from me sending extra units towards him because heroes can handle it but i don't have to necessarily let that happen because he's only tier two against my tier four so if i send a hero out i'm probably gonna kill him Makes sense. Sometimes this game likes to do weird things to, to you, though, so... I never... <laughs> nothing's a certain thing. Pushing you back a little bit. Okay, so like you know you see how my units are kind of like they're pushing you you back now in my lane Now mm -hmm. this is a good opportunity for me to just get defensive upgrades Because I know that I'll be able to push you back you back, but um, If I get attack upgrades, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push you back a lot faster So it's better for me to just kind of I can build up a stronger wave against you by getting defense and letting my backline kind of build up and just do that instead. I mean, you don't, like I said, you don't have to do it like that, but it's just a, it's a potential strategy for you to use. Okay. Now, if I were uh, pushing too far on somebody and I was going to kill one of the barracks and I wanted to continue to feed off of them for gold purposes. I would want to like try to mitigate the amount of damage I'd be doing in that lane then to try to continue to farm. Yeah. And some like and if on another like flip side if you wanted to keep those neutral buildings that are pumping out like in our lane, you see that gold mine that you have? It's right. actually really worth having because it's pumping out 50 gold per second cuz it's of its second passive it, every building is going to do 25 gold every 60 seconds regardless but then a gold mine has another one so you might want to keep pressing with attack in that in that regard because you want to keep that building and you don't want to ever lose that lane
All you need to say is Kappa Bebop? What are you talking about? Okay, so with Rogue, um, I see that you're Fortress 2 now, so you have your tower upgrades done. Or that you can do them now. Rogue have field upgrade, which is really good. Um, it's going to give them items. If you look at that one, you might want to use a tier 2 spell, by the way. Yeah. yeah. See how, like, we were both ganging up on you. That's a perfect time to use it. Right. I hate you. I'm gonna try these panda bears a little different in this game. All right, so let me ask you this: Why would why did you send a hero that way? Um, consider it like a panic move for a second, because I was trying to read something yeah. and I saw you guys were moving close, and I'm like, well, we're just gonna back off. <laughs> That's gonna push, like he'll he'll push for you, but he's gonna do it pretty quickly. And it might not be like the greatest time to use a hero. Also, um, another tip for when to use heroes is when you know your enemy is a, a barracks tier above you in your lane. Because your hero will be able to handle like tier three. Okay. Like if I, if I started, if I upgraded my barracks to tier three, you would still push me. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, um, what was the tower upgrade you mentioned? Uh, a field upgrade? It's like on the upper right, uh, one over. Okay. And that just gives like your, it gives like two or three of your units items every kill. It starts them off with a little bit of extra armor, and then it gives them items. Um, another good rogue upgrade is their their poison. It's on the bottom left of your tower. Um, backstab is good. It's in the middle left. Yeah, I would just, like, every game, just read those things and see what you can get out of your race. Every Every single race has different tower upgrades, so that's another learning curve thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna tier three her. I'm gonna tier three you fools. All right, what is happening here? Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Shadow Huntress does not need to be bullied by me. I appreciate that, thank you. Mm -hmm. Cormag, what do you mean? Did you really? If you did, thank you very much. Also, Flint, uh, the hero you sent me, he's really, really good at uh, obliterating other heroes. He has a Venom move that is one of the best hero killers in the game. Alright, very good information, thank Gosh, I'm really glad that uh, I defeated some of the dwarf already because their tier four units are their bonus and it's very, very difficult to deal with. There's a big old sky fortresses in the air.
All right, I see you got one infield upgrade. Um, another thing to note about Rogue is they don't have much AOE damage. The only AOE that they do is their um, tier three spell. Oh yikes! That's certainly you're getting nice. double, double yeah, whammy here. Yeah, I got double whammy real hard. There's nothing I can do about it either. Yeah. Did he go, go tier three on you? Okay. Oh, did you? Oh, was it on cooldown? It was. For like two more second dang. Yeah. So like, if that's the case, next time what you can do is just send thinking. out a bunch of units yeah. from your. Yeah, I think I maxed out the units on your side, and I was thinking about doing a hero, but I was like, it'll probably be fine. <laughs> I severely over, uh, overestimated how fine it would be. Yeah. That's alright. It's tough. It's tough, tough, tough. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had a lot of times where I'm like, do I want to use a tier 2 spell? Do I need to use this mana right now? I don't know, I don't think so. And then I end up screwing myself over. I don't do this, but when in doubt, probably just like save yourself and just use the hero or use the tier two skull just to survive. I'm getting a lot of tips in chat. You're what? Oh, getting a lot of tips? That's good. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Yeah, help her out, guys. Good work, good work. Oh, that was not very good. Someone would know. I know. I'm saying. I, I don't do what I'm saying I'm doing. But I it's what I should be doing. And these if I if I did the things that I'm telling her to do, then I would probably live longer. <laughs> Perhaps a do as I say, not as I do moment. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't... I, I would survive a lot better if I did the things that I was saying I do. Hey... Okay, so you tried to send Garethos, I'm guessing, to uh, my lane at first. And yeah. he just went mid? Okay. Yeah. You'll get better at that. You'll notice when, like, you can get the aggro properly over to the other person's lane or not. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like, as you, as you keep growing as a player, you'll get better at it. The longer Uyar is in this game, the worse things are going to be for us. So what aura would you recommend? For then... Rogue? Well, now you might want the base defense one. The camouflage aura? Uh, actually, no. Mm. How about if I just stand over here? What's the, what's the third aura that they have? Endurance. And they also have swiftness. Swiftness probably not gonna do anything for you. Camouflage will protect you from enemy ultimate weapons where they can nuke your uh, your buildings. But what does the endurance aura do? Uh, plus 15 unit attack and movement speed. And the or what's the range of it? 1500. Yep. So that'll be better for you to defend with, actually. All right. Cause you're, yeah, I mean, it might be good to just get that cause you're kind of struggling with um, that right side. You can also get a mana shield again, remember? Right. Cause your flint's gonna die in my lane in a sec. So you're gonna have some trouble coming on your right side. Um, a good rule of thumb is to try to either have that smite ultimate weapon by about 20 minutes or have a tier 3 fortress. And you have tier 3 fortress. So you could send that elevator. And your super unit will definitely defend a lane. He won't die in it. Okay. 
Yeah, Come on, it Flint. Moment. Come on, Flint. Save her. Yeah, I mean, it's you're just in a little bit of a pickle. But yeah, I mean, you sent the heroes out perfectly. There you go. So yeah, well, well done with that one. Um, Come on, Wanna see Hengor, what are you talking about? What fluffy boy? So Shadow, what the hell is this? What's what? He's got two heroes mid. He's really, really wanting me to not get any gold there. Uh, shadow. Not you, Shadow, the other Shadow. You could just call me Huntress if you want to avoid confusion. That's that's probably best, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Also, you there's like commands in this game. There's um like where you can see people's gold and stuff, who's winning and losing in certain categories that kind of thing so i just showed all of our research and our total gold see our scores it's kind of useful just to know who's got what this is perfectly fine with me Also, the pandas have such a bad super unit. Just a big old turtle. Oh, you lose gold if you cancel. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you do. Not a ton, but enough. Should I do mana shield again then? You need four fortifications, remember? Yeah. So you can't get it just yet, but you probably will want one, yeah. Unless you're confident that you can hold off my side with your heroes. Also, you can send Garethos from uh, your left side barracks right now and he'll aggro over to me. Um. If somebody, if like my pandas are hitting your fortress, it'll aggro to the other side. There you go, yeah, Kassan too. I think that works. I couldn't afford the, uh, the big guy, so I just went with him. Yeah. And at the moment, I'm not as familiar with the, the names of the, the heroes, so it's a work in progress. Oh, Gar yeah, Lord Garethos, just the, for, he's your tank hero. Your tank hero usually is on the bottom left of your options. Your agility hero is in the middle, and then uh, the your intellect one. one is, yeah, the third one over. Alright, that makes sense. Super unit is the farthest right. I've uh, probably played CHF a bit too long. A lot of the unit names are a bit different in that, and then <laughs> yeah. it confuses me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I I don't even know them all anyways. The Pando heroes, I don't know their names. Up there, super unit and Kirian. Have you ever have you ever watched Kirian stream? I have not. He's another. Uh, I'm still a bit uh, new to the streaming circuit, I guess. I oh, actually yeah, didn't cool. watch streaming really much until I started streaming because I was trying to learn how to improve. So like, I watched a little bit of you, I watched a little bit of him, I watched some Zoom, some Witty, and like, you know few other streamers that aren't related to Warcraft in an attempt to try to like improve how I run things. I still uh, have a lot to learn I think, but I, it's you know, certainly a work in progress. Yep. Yeah, every day learn something new. I'd say the best thing to do is just, I don't know, just keep talking to people or, or talking to yourself and you'll just like I don't know, the streaming, a lot of it has been talking to myself. 
until kind of like maybe a couple months ago and more people are here but it's been a lot of that um and most and then you'll have a lot of people lurking and hanging out with you eventually do you have a discord I do i just recently got one i felt really awkward about getting it at first because like because i am a community leader for a warcraft 3 game i already had three discords Ooh. for different games so like it was just I was just like, well do I really wanna make like a fourth Discord? Like will people actually wanna join me? <laughs> Another one? And uh, and now I run four, so here we are. I mean it's for different purposes though, right? So Oh yeah. I mean each one's for, for different purposes. So yeah, now you can send your tank hero from that other spot if you don't have him. It's gonna be t you. It's it, it's probably gonna be a little tough for you to manage like your gold and stuff with how big of waves shadows is putting on you. Yeah. And like where you're supposed to send heroes. Do you have a tier two spell? I do, but it's there. We go. Yeah, there you go. It was necessary there for sure. Yeah, I was trying to uh, mitigate gold loss. So like, yeah, I mean, once you get, you can you can use mana and not fear because you're gonna have a mana shield, and you can steal mana, so you don't have to worry about it as much because you already have your game plan. Mm -hmm. Would you say that mana shield is overall? Like most noob friendly? Oh yeah. Definitely is. It's gonna it's gonna keep you in games longer and let you just learn more and more about the races that you're playing and what's gonna work better on them and stuff. Hmm. I'm not gonna make it in time. Oh god, I wish I could do something right this second. It's... Oh no. My mind just completely forgot about heroes for a second. I was just like, I just need to get, get the spells again. I think, yeah. I think, you know, I'm still getting there as far as learning what to do and when to do it. No, yeah, you're, you're fine. Trust me, you're in this game 30 minutes with, you know, players who know how to play this game pretty well, so... You're, you're doing fine. It's gonna, it, this is how it's gonna be. And I mean, depending on your attitude towards the game, like if you're enjoying it and wanna get better, I mean, you're just gonna wanna keep going into another game and another game, try something new and try something different. What's gonna work better for you the next game? Like keep asking yourself those questions and sooner or later you'll, it'll, it will work. And you'll be like, damn. No, that strategy was awesome or something. I mean, I, it's just, yeah, it just takes time. And eventually, like, in the later stages of the game, you'll start to see, like, hmm, is one player way too strong right now? Do I need to team up with the other person who isn't as strong? Like, with that person against, against the person who is really strong? So yeah, we have a start... lot of that in uh, custom rough footage too. Yeah. How to mitigate the problem while also defending against, you know, the potential solution. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's like, what... Um, what am I trying to say? What can you do to survive first off? Then... If you're surviving and you're behind, can you utilize, like, sending your super units or your heroes at another player to weaken them? You know, like, yeah, it's... Uh, custom here, I mean, you're, you're playing, yeah, footies, and you're really good at that, right? Yeah, that's my primary game. Yeah, I still, get, I still need to learn that. I, I played it a little bit in Zoom's and Vimp's tournament, like a while back, but I never got that great at it. I think that's where most people got their exposure to it, to be honest. Were you... Anybody... Sorry? No, go ahead. 
I was just gonna say, were you in that tournament? I don't even know. There was a lot of players. Oh, in uh, yeah, my brother and I were both participating. Uh, unfortunately, our third was a little bit late to the party, so uh, we weren't actually able to participate in custom hero hoodies because oh, that was the first no. And we're like, we can get an alternate, or we can play just the two of us. We'll 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 compensate. It's fine. And they're like, nah, we got a new team. And we're like, okay, that's fine. You know, we we weren't up to par at the time, so it makes sense. And then we all got altered, uh, alternated in because another team quit. So we actually got to participate in the, the final four rounds. So that was nice, at least. Yeah, get wrecked, Shadow. Regular Shadow, not you, Sh Huntress. <laughs> Fair enough. I just used my ultimate weapon on him to blow up his whole base, basically. It's time to show the pandas, or it's time to show them what the pandas can do. Two in a row to this. To Uyar, no way. I can't beat. I can't do it. Ooh, that is good aggro. <laughs> <laughs> They're too super. See, like, these guys should be teaming up against me now, kind of like what I was saying. But they can't because they just sent. <laughs> they just sent the super units to the middle. So now I can send my super unit to Uyar on the bottom and not worry because they're just going to be fighting each other on accident. It's beautiful when things happen like that, Huntress. Yes. But now I get to, you know, chill and watch and learn you know, how you guys, you know, do your thing, so... Yeah, when I first started, I used to stay in the game um, 99% of the time unless I had to, like, go do something else. Once I once I was like eliminated. Big old panda turtles doing some beautiful damage in the dwarf base. A pan like why would you make the Pandaren super unit a big turtle? What do you think the design uh think, like thought was yeah. there? Isn't there like maybe it was more like a tropical like uh, Chinese type theme? Because I know the turtle and the uh, panda are kind of big big deals over there. Hmm. Okay. So panda is definitely something that they would use. Yeah, and that's why probably when they have the you know that type of dragon as well, that style. At least from my post, I'm not I'm not super familiar with uh, you know, all of the different cultures. <laughs> yeah, I, I I knew pandas were for sure, but I didn't know that it was like turtles as well. I would have went with a big ass panda though as a super I think unit. There's like some myth where like the turtles are like what founded the earth and like a bunch of other stuff, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay. Turtles Did founded like the that? earth. Yeah, like they have, like each one of them had a different attribute that like dictated, like forming the ground and you know the sky and stuff. I can't remember specifically, but I think that there was something to do with that. And like they were related to like the spirits. I, I I'd have to look at it again. I'm now curious, so I probably will look into that. Bebop says pandas are earth things, quote-unquote, and there is also a lore that says the first land was born on a turtle's back. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. That's, a, that's insane that he was like, yeah, you guys are on the same wavelength there. Okay. <laughs> we are getting all mad about my sumo wrestlers. Should be glad that they weren't the, uh... What you call it? The blue turtle masters. What did I? What was my bonus this time? Potion masters? I didn't even. I didn't even check. By the, guys, that's a good showcase of the of the new panda bonus potion masters. There you go. I'm 
So yeah, I mean, this. So do you play a lot of fo footies then, or do you try out like everything? I think I've seen you play multiple different games on your stream, but. Yeah, I was mainly uh, footies for a while, and uh, now I'm, I'm branching out a bit more. It it just makes sense, since uh, you know the viewership has a variety of taste, and now that I get to uh, participate with other streamers you guys also have a variety of different tastes so it's it's nice to get like a little bit of everything because warcraft is truly amazing if for no other reason the community has built such a unique experience yeah so might... it's amazing it's just crazy how like how different all the games are too like and you have to learn you literally have like high high learning curves on a lot of games mm-hmm which in turn creates mini communities within the overall like bigger warcraft community exactly and there's also like even sub communities within those sub communities based off of how they think it should be played yep it's wild um 